okay, so here's what we've got so far. <laughs> Hammer time. <laughs> Classic. The last real construction project on the bus is the dashboard area here and this over here we're gonna do something about this too to make it look so we've finally worked our way literally to the front of the bus yes so we've got to cover this um, cover this so it's gonna be all wood and then we have to be able to cut something that matches this so that it looks right. I don't think it's going to be that bad. We just kind of build it like everything else by the seat of our pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we fly on this project. <laughs> yeah, we just wing it. Somebody actually made a comment that says, you have amazing, amazing spatial awareness. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it's because I was crawling into the bus and not hitting my head or if it was because I build stuff on the fly. I'm not sure. <laughs> so at this point, I think we should build up from the bottom, which means that we need to uh, cover these side panels here. And which means first, before we do that, we should probably do redo these here. Okay. So we have to work on the sides of the stairwell the actual steps and the dash all today. Yep. That's a lot. It's a lot. I don't think we're going to finish all of it, but we are going to get a lot closer. So this is structural right here. So I think we're leaving this on and then we have stuff to tie into over here. So that's nice. So that allows us to build that frame right there really easily. Well, you've got your work cut out for you. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? I think probably so. I like what you did to the uh, drill here. Does it make you happy? It's cute. <laughs> Where is my driver? It's the Jesus bolt. You take this apart and the bus goes... <laughs> yeah, right? The whole thing. What? What have you done? Oh, God. This is a big chunk of metal, man. Heavy duty, yeah. hardcore. I need to vacuum up all that crap though. Yep, you're right about that. So we need to do the floors. Don't we need to do side walls first? then risers, then steps. Wouldn't that be the proper order? Yeah, probably. 27 and three quarters. I have an, uh oh. What? The cat door. Oh, you're right. That's where the cat door goes. We have to go buy a cat door to do this. Let's go. Let's look at our fancy new kitty door. Oh, bigger. Guess who that's for? Yep.
seven. First test. What Moment of truth. What do you think? I give it a 50-50 chance. Oh, that was really close. Though. Really close. Actually, and maybe I just need to drop it a skosh. Is what it looks like. An eighth, an eighth off of this, then we can install it. So that's pretty good for a first shot. Oh, still not enough. Well, it is. We do still need to notch this. We can use that with. Our jigsaw that just happens to be right there. You mean Jiggy McJigsaw Face? That's him. You know him? I've heard of him. You've heard, you've heard him? That looks <laughs> <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Does it do that? What? These little lines. Oh. It's the stain. It's a dark part of the stain just gets in there for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe we just didn't shake it up good enough. Uh, you know, I thought that's what it was before too, but then I shook it up really well. And, and it, it still, still did, did it. Yeah, you see? It's doing it still. I didn't realize. Me and Dana spent hours. For real? Hours to prank you yesterday. And I set up. I've been all seeing the them tools. as I'm running into this. I set up all the tools all around the workshop, like obvious, super obvious, like so that you would see them as soon as. And no, you have just been missing no, them. No, I have been seeing them on everything I pick up, actually. Only on the things you Have you, you guys seen up? this? Look. There's a little eyes. There was a shark fin. I thought something was stuck to it. I pulled it off. Then I saw the eyes and realized ah, it was a shark. <laughs> My girl's lost her mind. <laughs> well, I was wrong. We first timed that one. Wow. Okay, so backstory, Mike just shook up the can of stain really, really hard and it made it a completely different color than the board we stained earlier. So now we're having to restain this board dark so it will match how dark this one turned out. So the moral of this story is either never shake your stain or always shake your stain. <laughs> Don't do half shaken on one side and, you know, not shaken on one side and shaken on the other. Ever. It was a bad, bad idea. Yeah, that turned out really crazy, actually. It's not what I was aiming for, but it's not a total disaster. We'll just live with darker wood in the entryway. That's right. Super cute. Cool. I like having our little light right there by the steps. We saved it. Good work, my honey. Uh huh. Good work. Thanks. Well, this is where this tool finds its niche. Yeah. In the job that no other tool could do.
No other tool. Well, I like your cute little buddy there. He's awfully cute. <laughs> Didn't even see it. <laughs> He's your little friend. I can't believe you did that to all the tools. <laughs> you're funny. Love you, but you're weird. <laughs> So the truth comes out. <laughs> I uh, found my tape measure. <laughs> That's a tape bunny. Grinder McGrind face. <laughs> Pocket holer McHoler. <laughs> Susie McDriver. <laughs> Scroozy. That was Scroozy Susie. <laughs> Biscuit McBiscuit face. <laughs> She's hammered. She's hammied. Oh look. It's, it's a stripper. <laughs> Are you missing anything else over here? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. This is like they're together. <laughs> That's this true love. This little screwdriver guy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I know, that one's hilarious, huh? You know who it looks like? It's fishy. It looks, no, it looks like uh, Dory. It looks like Dory. <laughs> Just keep think? swimming. Just keep swimming. And then Crimper. Raw. <laughs> Ah, angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the two little men in the white coats for you. <laughs> You're coming to take me away. <laughs> I like your little measure, bunny. Do you like that? It's Louie. Screwy Louie. Ha 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 I like your little caulking, buddy. <laughs> All right. Best tool ever. You believe that right there? And he's a friendly little guy. tool that is so unusual and yet it does everything because that tool is cool. Oh, <laughs> right? it's a cool tool. <laughs> Dun 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 dun! Better trim off that edge first. No? Yep, it's going over it. Perfect. That was close, and I wasn't sure if we were going to win that battle. <laughs> we won! things like this that you never put on a list when you're building a bus. But you need them. You just have to get them when you realize you need them. It's an endless, never-ending parade of, oh, now we need this. Oh, now we need that.
Very, very sweet, man. That turned out really good. I can't believe my speaker broke. Oh, it's not just detached, right? No, you took the screws out, though. It literally but... broke. The aluminum broke. OMG. Grumpy old man speaker. That's right. Bus driver, grumpy old bus driver. Yes, gotta have the grumpy old bus driver speaker for yelling at kids. <laughs> Taking more bus apart. Getting more gunk out. I just miss tearing out the rest of it. This is the perfect thing. I can't believe they had this. I know, this is so great. Save for later. And switch a maroonie. Oh, you gotta take this one off too. It looks like it is gonna go right on in there. Actually, factually. Good. I was hoping to get that old crusty piece of crap out of there. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding me right now? Did it just fit on perfectly? That is awesome. <laughs> Better though. Let's put a couple little snips in it. So it can tighten. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my God. Like super perfect. Yeah, I'm loving this. Oh, you already got it hooked it up? Hooked it up. <laughs> That's it. We're just testing it. Look, it looks like a little elephant now. It's so cute. This is literally better than like the original uh, heater that was here. We had, the, okay, so right here, if you guys have been watching our videos, right here was our big old heater and it was water fed from the engine. And I actually, when we posted the video of me taking this out, I caught a ton of flack for taking out the original heater. Because we wouldn't have a defroster. Because we wouldn't have anything to defrost the windows. And I didn't want to give away what we were going to do, so I just let people go crazy about it. But uh, this was this was the uh, the design from all along, is we were going to put a diesel heater here up into the uh, um, defrost, whatever this thing is called, blower area. We found this here, which fit this thing so perfectly and then we bought some of this metal ducting yeah here. two silly things at ace hardware that added up to about 18 dollars yeah under so 20 bucks. when we're sitting around doing nothing this will you know heat the front of the bus but when we're uh driving on a cold day this will defrost our windows too exactly so it is just like a little elephant hooting out his trunk <laughs> warming up oh so this is the fan like the fan on these things reacts to the heat of the heat exchanger so as the heat exchanger gets hotter it turns the fan up to keep it cool then you start getting heat out of this <laughs> he's cute he's our little heater fan <laughs> oh, i wish you guys could feel this feels just like holding your hand right in front of a hair dryer on high. Super hot and really blowing. There we go. Turn it off. I don't want you to get too warm because then you'll like sit down. I know. I'll just get comfortable and forget to film. Can we just stay in here tonight? No. We are filming. 